We are already in the third week of the uh, legislating at the General Assembly up in Columbia. State Senator Tom Davis, who represents us here in the Low Country, joining us. Uh, Senator, you guys already busy uh, early on. Uh, what are you seeing happening? Right, we are very busy, hitting the <laughs> ground running. And um, I've been put in charge by legislative leadership in the Senate with two uh, very comprehensive and important bills. Uh, the first is in regard to uh, energy uh, restructuring, making sure that we have uh, sufficient uh, energy capacity on our grid uh, to meet future economic development needs and also, frankly, to, to meet current needs so we don't have blackouts. And then secondly, I've also been uh, put in charge um, by leadership of restructuring all of our public health agencies. I mean, we oh, currently okay. have seven or eight different public health agencies that deliver public health services, the most fragmented system in the United States. And so the bill that I filed and is now pending and in subcommittee is to take those seven or eight different agencies and consolidate them into one single Department of Public Health so that those delivery services can be coordinated. So um, I'm very busy with those two pieces of legislation. I mean, uh, energy reform is something that I've been working on for the past two or three years. Um, we need to bring more natural gas to South Carolina. Um, we need to go ahead and be realistic about when we can retire coal plants. I mean, we want to retire the coal plants because... Sure. That's a very dirty uh, form of energy. Um, but by the same token, you don't want to retire those coal plants until we have some replacement energy source online. So um, we want to do that. We want to also explore small modular reactors, new nuclear technologies that are available. And, and quite frankly, we also want to open up markets to more solar as well. So it's an all of the above strategy here in South Carolina, natural gas, um, coal, uh, wind, solar, um, nothing's being ruled out. So um, I'm really um, looking forward to tackling that and getting that done before the session's over. Absolutely. I, I want to ask you real quickly, how did we do the grid that you talk about uh, during this recent cold snap? I think a lot of people were concerned, boy, we're going to be okay. This is not going to be a, a Texas situation from a couple of years ago. How'd we do? We turned out to be okay. But what people need to realize is it's, it's a close call a lot okay. of times and, and that there's uh, good cooperation among our utilities, whether it's C&T Cooper or Duke Energy or Dominion. I mean, they do a good job of working with each other to make sure that if one utility has excess energy and they can dispatch it to another utility, they work well together. So that's that's one of the things that I think holds us in good stead here in South Carolina is we have three utilities that work together. Okay. Now, we just got to get all of the uh, health, uh, different health agencies to work together. Uh, the other bill that you're working on significantly, how uh, uh, how do you, I mean, that's a lot of cats to herd right there. Yeah, but I enjoy it. I mean, it's, okay. it's something, I mean, I've been an attorney for 38 years. I mean, I'm used to transactional negotiations and, and negotiating large settlements. And so when you're dealing with something like energy, for instance, you look at the various stakeholders. You have the three utilities, as right. I say, Santee Cooper, Dominion, and Duke. Um, you've got the cooperatives. Um, right. You've got independent power producers that want to generate power and sell power to the grid. I mean, so you've got various actors, and what you try to do is listen to the concerns uh, and, and get the input from all of them, and it's sort of like a Venn diagram. You've got all these circles out there, and you try to figure out where the overlap is, and that's the sweet spot. So um, I'm in the process of working with my colleagues and figuring out where that sweet spot is, but the bottom line is we want to make sure that we have adequate energy capacity. We want to make sure that our grid is secure and on a prudent way move toward a clean reform, cleaner form of energy. But by the same token, uh, job number one has to be making sure we have capacity and making sure the grid is secure. A absolutely. With the health care bill, um, is that something that's going to take multiple years to get to? Or, or do you think it's actually possible to see something come out this year? It'll be done this year. Really? Um, last year, I was put in charge of the bill to restructure DHEC, okay. um, to divide it into two different agencies, Department of Environmental Services and Department of Public Health. And so that's been done. In regard to the Department of Public Health, it was agreed that we would look at all the other healthcare agencies that deliver healthcare services, like Department of Mental Health, Department of Disabilities and Special Needs, DEOTIS. I mean, and bring them under um, one organization. I mean, right now we have seven or eight different agencies, right. different information systems, and silos not communicating with each other. It's a very fragmented system. So, and this is a bipartisan thing. I mean, there's, it's not a Republican or a Democratic, right. you know, view here. We're just about delivering public healthcare services efficiently to the people of South Carolina. Um, I put a lot of work into this during the summer and the fall. Um, the bill has been filed uh, in the General Assembly. We've had a subcommittee hearing on it already. I anticipate getting it moved out of subcommittee this week into full committee, wow. out of full committee onto the Senate calendar, out of the Senate over to the House by the beginning of the month. So 
um, I'm, I'm pushing this thing hard and I'm, I'm very optimistic. All right, let me let you get back to work then. Thanks so much for your time. State Senator Tom Davis, uh, our representative in the uh, South Carolina State Senate. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. We'll be back with more of the WHHI Daily News right after this.